The data moving plugin is completely compatible with the styling frameworks of both jQuery UI and jQuery Mobile. Let's give a look also to some simple example of uh, a jQuery mobile styled page. We go to the mobile site and uh, let's give a look to some uh, read example. Actually, the users may define also its own styling framework by simply filling the fields of uh, a class that define the styling framework to be used by the data moving control. Let's give a look to the to the code. It's enough to fill all property of uh, a CSS settings class and to pass these, uh, the, the distance of this class obtain it this way to the defined method of the static method of the same class to change to define a new styling uh, to define new styling settings that will be applied from that point of the code. The data moving plugin comes with the three predefined instances of the CSS settings class. Uh, the first instance define the jQuery UI styling settings. The second instance define the standard jQuery mobile styling settings and finally a third predefined instance of this class defined define some jQuery mobile settings with an extended set of icons. When we create an instance of the CSS settings class we may pass some parameters that in the case of uh, jQuery mobile are used to pass some swatches that are uh, to be used for, uh, for styling different parts of the controls. The B in our, in this case the B setting is used for instance to, for the normal content, the A Swatch is used for uh, headers as usual, and uh, the e the e swatch is used for both uh, for styling both buttons buttons and uh, uh, alternate rules. The developer has the possibility to use. Uh, to change styling settings, style settings several times in the same page, and he has also the possibility to use different style settings for different parts of the same control. For instance, in this grid, we use specific settings just for this toolbar and we use the specific setting also for this uh, for the for this uh, header the user has the possibility to customize the pre-existing predefined styles by changing just some properties for instance the user may choose to uh, use the jQuery UI style settings, but 
just uh, changing the settings, the, the CSS class to be used for the alternate row of, uh, of uh, a grid. That's all. For more details, please refer to the companion tutorial of this video.